Yes, family. Well, my name time I'm live on Revolutionary Cam, and today is Sunday, April 4th, and we are in Senegal. We just left the mainland, and this is Gori Island, which is an island that is connected to Senegal. And we're going to have a lot of history and culture and information. And unfortunately, you know, some of it is going to be sad, but um, that's what we do when these roots and culture journey. We connect you with all aspects of roots and culture. And in this situation, we're dealing with the African Holocaust. Just like we do when we're in other countries. This is a permanent part of all schedules that I create. And uh, not trying to push slavery history on us, but this is one of the most important things that we need to know. And it's like I always hear people say, that never again, never again can mean a whole lot. Never again meaning that you literally have to understand your past and be clear about the future. Okay. So, Ghana, Tanzania, Senegal, and the Gambia all have African Holocaust reconnection on those itineraries. Did go to South Africa uh, less than two years ago, and that was, um, you know, when you're dealing with apartheid, it's a uh, similar connection, it's just more modern. And, uh, same thing in um, Benin, you know, that we also did a few years back. So, and then, you know, we have museums, we have cultural sites, memorial parks, national parks, all those things. We kind of just mix it all up and give it to you nice and strong. And uh, you know, that's not the entire schedule that we have for the eight, ten days, but you're gonna have at least one or two days. You know, where those things are discussed. Just like you know, we have business networking and conferences and things like that. It's, it's all about African black power nation building. Reconnect to your roots and get your blessings. That's what the t-shirts are saying in the back. So you can't properly build a future without learning about our past. As painful as it may be, you know, but at the same time as family, we do way more than that. Um, you know, we, you know, you know, from, from good dining and everything. This, this is my new artist right here on the Revolutionary Cam label. Welcome. This is my future Akon right here. Yeah. Tell my people American come to Senegal. Say so visit on the island. That is better. Fatima. Yes. Yes, family, there you go, man. Don't you love it, man? I love Senegal, family. Beautiful, wonderful people. My first country in Africa, 17 years ago. I went back uh, 2005 and also 2006. Yeah. And then you know what happened? I got caught into the Ghana connection after that. Yeah. But we are back. Yeah. It's time to take these things for granted, but this is the first time in forever I've been able to get a real tour group. They traveled us to Senegal and the Gambia, trust me family. I looked at my records, it showed a few trips, 09, 2010, and 2011. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, the thing I feel is they have this island intact. So that's his family. Zooming up on it. One of these things, family, when you come to the African Holocaust sites, one of the biggest things you're always going to see is cannons. Cannons pointed outward, this white devils, white and white devils, take control of black people and black land and black culture. Unbelievable, but these are facts and we have taken everyone to all these African Holocaust sites to literally show our brothers and sisters, especially our youth, how real it is. Yes, my brother, yes. All right, you know what? I got an impulse. I got hey. an impulse that used to be like, you know, over here at the slave, at the, at the slave houses around. What, what, you, what you have, because you're live on Revolution okay. Camp. Okay, and you I have, have even like a community of Africa for Africans. You guys, 
track's gonna slow. Perfect, man. And now, uh, while we're on this fresh clip, yeah, but, but my you brother... have to take this U-turn because there's one more sink right here. Right here. We're gonna go straight. Because the red light, there's one more sink in between this level. It was on the 20th of September, 1940. It's a sinking boat? It's a boat. And you just have two colors in the island. You have red and yellow. Hey, see everything family? that you see are red is Portuguese and Dutch. And everything yellow is French and English. That is real, man. That's real family. And, 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 and the island is an old volcano on a basaltic stone on the Arco researchers is over like 10 million years ago. You know, we cracked down from the mainland of Dakar and create like four islands in Dakar. You have Gore Yof, uh, Gore Yof, Madeleine Island, and Edgar Island. Right? But Gore is just like 27 acres, so 900 on 300. 2,000 2, people love, live here, but they live on a so such a good harmony. They yeah, this nice. is. Um you know, cause we have land, um, and this is look like it's the same uh, size of our land, 65, 70 acres. But this is definitely not 27 acres yeah. of land. Um, in acreage, um, I guess we'll be able to find out based yeah. on doing the, the calculation. Because you know it in right. square, okay, square meters, right? Okay, it's, 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 nine, it's nine by three. You know, it's, you, you have to take like the long and the large. You know, and you multiply it. Yes, my sister, you got to be careful with that phone because once it drops, it's swimming with the fishes. It's not dropping. You got to hold on to that thing tight. I got it. So, you got it, what right? we have here? I met him a lot when I very first came here. And I, that's probably, it just, just now it just hit me where I remember you from. It was from Gory Island. Yeah, that's Uzman getting his hustle on. <laughs> yeah, he was. He had them these same pants and all. He was, he was going to take the pants off and sell me the pants. Hey. <laughs> It was a long time ago. Long time I'm telling you, family, be prepared. It was like two morning. Because yes, I was like, my brothers in Senegal, they, they don't play around, man. They're about that business, about that life, about that money. So, you know, they got all kind of services and things that you can purchase. So, you know, because one thing about when you have talent, like my brother right here speaks, I'm saying you speak like seven languages. Okay, I, oh yeah, of course I speak seven languages and I, and I can write five of them. But by the time being, we're going to get like all the knowledge, we're going to get something like recorded, you know, because everything's going to be on, on the right spot and we're going to tell like good history of the island that our people like will look at Africa for Africans and they will come like over here back like, you know, to the soil of our land, all right? Okay, report to mission. I'm ready, man. Oh, perfect, man. Let's change, let's change since we're about to land. Family, we're going to change. Right. So we got, well, we all have jackets on because it's whether some of us, you know, the weather affects a little different. Um, I'm a tropical being and I like it 89 degrees, not, you know, still to this day. That's why I don't live in New York City no more. You know? And I move further south because yeah, I got to get that climate. That's why I love Africa, whatever countries I go to, I love it. You know, the only country that was very cold is South Africa, which is, which is basically Cape Town. Because you're right there on, like literally you're right there in the most southern part of the entire world. Now, kind of like when we're in Brazil or when we are in Australia. It's been a long time since I've been to Australia, but you know, it's, it's the same situation. Uh, so. We made it back, like wow. Hey family, you know, the ancestors, when they were stolen, you know, they didn't know what was going to happen to us in the future. So I'm proud to say family, we are back. We are back. Stronger than ever, man. And you know, we're going to embrace our African Holocaust and we're going to let it motivate us and let it connect us and let it unite us. And we're going to go beyond the saying never again. We're gonna build a future where this is gonna be the greatest continent that the world has ever seen. We have the youngest generation, and uh, we have a whole lot of other folks in the diaspora that can contribute to the energy of the continent. So we are, so family, if we put ourselves as a global people, we're stronger than strong. You know? While Europe is dying out, we are still living after all the things that we've been through as a people. We are survivors, you know?
So here we are. So family, once you get off, we're gonna hit you with some more connection, take some good photos, then at lunchtime, eat some good Senegalese food. And it's probably the best thing to do is just show you a nice closer look while we up here. So family, every time I do an African Holocaust, you're gonna hear four countries. You're gonna hear about the, the French Devils, the British Devils, the Portuguese Devils, and you're gonna hear about the Dutch Devils. The four of the wickedest groups that ever lived on this planet. Very aggressive. They're so wicked that they got cannons fighting each other. Stolen African land and stolen African people. It, it shows you how powerful and resourceful we are as a people to wear. Other nations want to combine to take what we have and destroy us. You know what I mean? Family, warfare is warfare. You know? So the best thing I can tell all of us, family, is get ready. You know? Because never again. Yes, Mr. Bomani Dakari, how you feeling? We're gonna we're gonna take these things off and then we're gonna get some nice pictures. Let's make sure we don't leave anything on the boat family. I'm coming to get all of these things. You, you got the you got the uh, the Mortal Kombat Raiden hat. For those who are none, remember Mortal Kombat. Mortal, Mortal Kombat! Kombat. <laughs> They stole that idea from us, you know that, right? <laughs> hey, I don't think these people have ever created anything original. <laughs> All there is duplicators and thieves and culture, like my favorite word is like culture votes. I love when people put that in perspective. <laughs> hey, if you don't have culture, you have to go steal it from other people. So instead of... You know, and then claim you made it, <laughs> you created it. Hey, it's kind of like all of the stolen African inventions. It's like every, every decade we learn about more things that was invented by African people around the world. So Mr. Bomani Dakari and everybody, we are getting off the boat. So we're ready. 